We are your area news team. Congratulations go out to Texas Railroad Commissioner Wayne Christian. He is now the chairman of the Texas Railroad Commission. I met with him at Wayne Christian Financial in Center, Texas. With Center Broadcasting Company, this is Justin Mott. I'm here today with Mr. Wayne Christian. He is a member of the Texas Railroad Commission, and he was recently chosen as their new chairman. So tell us, how does that feel, and what will be some of the things that you're going to plan to do as the new chairman? Well, the... the being given or elected to the chairmanship is a great honor. You have your other two members, the three commissioners, and of course a lot of people aren't aware that the Railroad Commission has nothing to do with railroads. It's oil and gas and other minerals for the state of Texas. And as the chairman of the Railroad Commission, it's quite a historic time to be given that responsibility in that we've just found the largest uh, oil reserve in the history of the world. And it literally has changed the dynamics worldwide for the United States and given us more importantly uh, national security. We don't have to send our best and our brightest, our military, over across the oceans to fight for energy security because we have secured it. If Texas were a country right now, we'd be number three in exporting of oil and gas in the world. And that's without even getting attainment of this new tremendous field in West Texas in the Permian Basin. I mean, we've got the largest number of pipelines in history under construction. We've got three new oil refineries. Exxon has, has dumped about $9 billion down at Port Arthur to expand their refinery and their facilities. Uh, the, there's three liquefied natural gas terminals that are under construction and yet to be uh, built. And yet we still are number three in the world in export without all of that coming online. So I think a lot of people have not realized how big this is in Texas. So uh, briefly on the commuting, uh, I have to commend you. Uh, how often do you make the trip to Austin? Uh, well, this week I'm going, last week I went. Uh, the, the thing that I think we in East Texas understand in rural Texas is that a lot of my friends that serve in Austin are able to jump on an airplane, say at Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, and they can just zip over to where they want to. Well, being out here in East Texas, we're a good three hours from the nearest major airport and by the time you drive there, sit for an hour or whatever it is to get on an airplane or whatever delays are there, well, foot, you could just drive it. So the biggest challenge to, to an old man like me serving in the Texas, uh, as a Texas statewide official, is transportation. And driving to Austin and back is a four and a half hour trip one way. And by the time I do that, it's, it's rather tiring. Now, I'm not complaining, I'm blessed, I'm, I'm honored to be the railroad commissioner. But I guess just in the biggest negative to the job is, is the amount of time I spend behind a steering wheel. Under the current scenario, oil and gas in Texas accounts for one third of the jobs in the state, 30% of the jobs. And it right now returns $51 to the Texas legislature for all the uses of government, public schools, education, law enforcement, and other acts of government. $50 for every one that government funds over at the Railroad Commission. So it's a tremendous income boost. And my, my talk right now to people and to myself is, we've been given for the second time in West Texas the largest discovery of oil in history. And my challenge is, are we gonna be responsible uh, as that greatest generation was, what are our grandchildren gonna say about us? Are we gonna be as responsible with this new gift we've been given in West Texas? So as railroad commissioner, uh, I feel a great responsibility both to the citizens of Texas who honored me with being elected, but as chairman, uh, it's, uh, it's quite exciting to think that uh, I have a place of leadership at a time in history that we have the largest opportunity. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.